Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our latest care guide. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Zebra Moray Eel. So this guy, he's living in a 200 gallon uh, fish only with live rock tank. Uh, I would say he is probably, as you can see, he's very long. He's probably close to three feet long when he, when he comes out. Um, I've had this guy probably a very long time, probably seven years now, I would say. Uh, he was probably about two feet when I got him, so they're fairly slow growing. Um, and really interesting fish. They, they spend most of their time inside the, inside the rocks. Uh, you don't see an awful lot of them. Sometimes I don't even know that this guy's here. And then usually in the morning, which is what it is right now, um, he starts to get a bit more active. He knows the food is coming. And you can typically get him all the way out of the rocks too. Like once you start feeding them, um, he'll, he'll come out and actually kind of actively swim around. Um, there's a few things that's kind of interesting with them. Um, their eyesight is really, really poor. I find with this guy, he's almost even blind. Like I can have something right in front of his face and he just doesn't even, he doesn't even notice. They're totally dependent on smell. So they're, they're, they're scavengers. You'll see when you drop stuff in the tank, um, they'll, they'll come up initially, hoping that you're gonna feed them something or that they get lucky and they grab something. Um, typically they don't, most of the other fish get in front of them. So you almost have to use feeding tongs. That's what I do. Uh, to feed them and then and then what they'll do he'll quickly go back down to the bottom doing what he's doing now and he'll start searching around for anything that that doesn't get gobbled up so i have to be quite careful to make sure he gets fed enough uh, just because i have a lot of other kind of large fish that typically jump in first um, and so i want to make sure that he eats enough uh, i mean i do feed the tank once a day with with uh, meaty foods obviously i supplement with with algae sheets and and pellet food as well but but yeah he, he usually i would say he tries to feed most days but doesn't always get something so he probably eats a silver side every couple of days maybe and a couple of bits of other stuff like you know squid uh, or mussels or clams or whatever you can kind of get get hold of but they don't have to eat every day and, and I mean, this guy, when back in the day when I was starting out in the hobby and I had things like ick in the tank and I was doing treatments, like the copper would, <laughs> the copper would uh, turn him off his food and he would go, you know, several weeks without eating anything, seemingly with no effect. The one thing I would say with these guys is how hardy they are. I, I just, this, this guy, like I said, I've had him for a long time. He's gone through lots of learnings with me should we say, lots of sad moments, whether it's ammonia spikes, because you didn't really know what you're doing, like I say, all different kinds of diseases. I don't want to say invincible, but, you know, nearly. He's extremely hardy. I've never seen anything wrong with him. Uh, not a, you know, not a dot of white spot or anything like that on him. They're just bulletproof, or at least this guy has been. Um, so, so really, uh, very, very tough fish. Not aggressive at all towards other tank mates. I've never seen him even flinch towards them. I couldn't even imagine him <laughs> being able to catch one. They're just not very fast. Um, so yeah, tank mates that are ideal, obviously other large kind of predatory fish. I guess you'd want to be slightly careful with the smaller ones, but when I first started out, I had him in with small damsel fish and, and um, Pseudochromis and other stuff. So and he never touched them. So I, I personally <clears throat> never had a, a problem at all. Uh, with with aggression, they, like I said they probably do need a fairly large tank, but really it's the it's the amount of rock work that they need. They really need to feel comfortable in and out of the rocks. That's constantly what he wants to do. He doesn't want to be out, uh, or very rarely, unless it's feeding time. So you want to provide them with with lots and lots of rock work. Uh, but if you're looking for a fish that you're going to see all the time, you know, actively swimming up and down, this is definitely not your not your guy. Uh, I am thinking of maybe at some point adding another eel. We'll see. Um, apparently they do live fairly well together, but I've never tried uh, two eels in the same tank yet. At once the angel fish is getting all mad. Uh, anyway, very, very, like I say, very pretty fish. I get lots of comments. People cannot believe he's in the tank. When they see him come out, you know, you get gasps of, oh, wow. Because um, he's just so big and the coloration is, is really, really vivid. 
but yeah, great fish. Uh, like I say, very hardy. It's going to be with you a long time, so make sure you plan on on, on providing it shelter because it's uh, like I say, they they seem very very hardy and long and long lived. Um, yeah, that that's the guide. It's the, uh, the zebra moray. So very cool, very very cool fish. See you, buddy.